This is a quick video on how to use Wireshark on a Windows machine to run a packet capture on a remote Linux machine. I'll be using my desktop which is running Windows 10 and I have a Ubuntu VM set up for the remote capture. To begin we have to install Wireshark in a specific way so I'm going to go ahead and download the latest version off their website and then start the install. At the first screen just hit next and agree and at this screen I'm going to make sure that all of the components are checked. I'm pretty sure that SSH dump is the only one that we need but I'm going to go ahead and check everything just so that we have it. And then just go ahead and run through the rest of the install. Alright, so now that the install is complete, I'm going to go ahead and start Wireshark. And you'll see here that we have a whole bunch of interfaces to choose from. The one that matters is SSH Remote Capture. Basically what this does is it establishes an SSH session from the Windows box to the remote Linux machine and it tells the Linux machine to start running a packet capture and to pipe all of that information back down the SSH session to Wireshark. To set this up we just need to click on the cog wheel here. And first we just need the IP address of the remote machine so I'm going to go ahead and grab that from the Ubuntu VM. And the port we're going to use is 22. For authentication I just like to use root because it's easier. And the root password and then we just need the name of the interface we're going to be capturing on which is ENS33 and Wireshark automatically builds this capture filter since my machine has a whole bunch of junk interfaces that it doesn't want to listen to traffic for I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of this and leave it to not port 22 to filter out the SSH traffic and then go ahead and hit start And just to generate some noise here, I'm going to open up my SSH session that I have running on the side and just say ping 8.8.8.8. And you can see the ICMP traffic showing up in the capture here. And if I say dig yahoo.com, we can see that the DNS traffic showed up as well. And otherwise this just works like a normal Wireshark session. So if you wanted to use a display filter here, you could say IP address equals, I don't know, 8.8.8.8. .8 and it works like a normal filter. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hit like if this was helpful, and thanks for watching.